Japanese, you know, they, they feel like, oh, you should be dating girls, not boys. Like, I'm Puerto Rican. I go, I probably go both ways, you don't know. It's like, I could be gay, I could probably be bi or whatever, you know. Like you become end up being bi curious. Yeah, right. but you never know. It's like, okay, but um, I talked to a lot of gay people and I asked them these questions. They were like, oh, they telling me that they they want to get out of Boston because all of the racism, people judging them for who they are. And it's ridiculous how Boston, you can have all that people judging you for who you are. Like, I have a lot of friends I still talk to now. They know that I, I go, I was gay, but then I'll probably be bi, probably you never know. It's like, maybe I chose to be gay, maybe I chose to <coughs> like girls, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But how would you feel if, say you was gay, and, you know, and you start liking boys or whatever, and you having people judge you for who you are. I've been judged before. This girl at work, me and you know her, starts with a G. Even though I don't like her, I don't trust her, she judges me because I'm going out with this Puerto Rican girl, which I used to go out with for six months. And yet, mm -hmm. there's one thing I was like going to say to her at work. If you don't like her, don't talk to her, don't mention about her. It's like, it's like, it's not your business. It's like, yeah. it's your business. It's regardless of any other exactly. type of relationship. Like, even like, for example, like between me and you, like, me, this is just, this is our relationship. Me and you, we bicker at each other like all the time. That's just what we do. But at the end of the day, it's, it's just, you know, you care about me, I care about you. Same thing with the straight people. You know what I'm saying? Even not, I, I'm not gonna lie. I had a girlfriend before. I had like three, I had three girlfriends before. Same thing, you know, relationship didn't work. We bickered at each other, we fought, this and that, this and that, this and that. Same thing with me and you do, I mean, you know, even when we did the first show, like, yeah. that was just, it's all because we weren't serious though, because we know, you know, it's like, this is how I look at every relationship, every relationship the same. Yeah. You go through so many problems, it's like, that's what makes a relationship become. There's not, there's, I don't believe in a perfect relationship. If there's no argument, no fighting, no nothing, then that's not, that's, that's a perfect relationship right there. If, actually, no, that's not a per perfect relationship right there. If there's no argument, no fighting, that is not a perfect relationship. That is just, y'all are just holding in y'all emotions for what reason, just let them out. Just like you let out your emotions to me, I let out mine to you because we're learning. We learn from that. My grandmother and her boyfriend, they've been together and yeah, they do argue. Not every relationship is perfect. You know, you might have a little argument or whatnot, and probably the next day, you know, you go back to you, your life, like your working life. Like, um, to me, um, I used to work in a job that constantly my boss was not proud that I changed into gay, being gay, I was, I dated about five girls. Why was he not happy? Like, did he not, like, I just want, I don't understand when people say that. It's like, even for me, when I was straight, when I turned, when I came out the closet, pe most people was like, damn, why are you gay for? Like, what does it matter to you? Why are you straight? Because my boss was actually from um, Florida, and he, he actually did bullied a couple of times when he was a little kid. When he was seeing gay people walk down, he used to just fight them, beat them up. For what purpose? It's like Because every, they were gay. It's like, I think we need to like, have all the gay community come together and you know like, you know like not be judged no more. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah. Because a lot of gay people are like planning to move out of Boston. Like me, I'm planning to go to Connecticut. Me, I'm leaving of next the, week. The racism in Boston, the judging, they it's just got to stop because you know, you never know if your kids are going to be gay. It's like you never know. You never know what they're going to be. You yeah. never know if they're going to be straight, exactly. gay, bi, transgender, whatever. Lesbian. It's, it's just a simple fact is aiming for parents. You don't have to condone it. But once again, support it because once again, that is your kid. I want to thank everybody. Um, y'all been supporting me on this TV show. I'm so proud of y'all for watching.
Um, yeah, thank y'all for watching. Um, whatever show you miss, make sure you um, check it out on YouTube. Click on the Joshua Show, and you'll every show you miss, you'll have it on in, um, YouTube. And Wait. thank y'all for watching, and hopefully see y'all in my next sing, show. Sing, sing.